Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head over to Boston in Massachusetts in America once again and we've got a really special brewery to have a look at today. This of course is one of the famous American White Whale breweries. I've done a few collaborations involving these guys before with the likes of Amar from Denmark and uh, Omnipoil from Sweden of course but this is the first time I'm trying one of their very own beers. So we're going to head to Trillium Brewing for this one and we're having a taste of their Fort Point Pale Ale. So this one is a double dry hop Pale Ale. It comes in at 6.6% ABV. I think it's Citra and Columbus that's in this one. And of course, it's really highly rated. So it has, I think, 100 overall and within the style on rate beer. It was well into the four stars on Untapped and it had an outstanding rating on Beer Advocate as well. And as I say, this is a white whale brewery, so it's really, really difficult to get a hold of these beers. My mum and dad were over in Boston recently and they bought me a, a, kind of a variety six pack of the different beers. So I've got six trillion beers to review for you over the coming weeks. So I do hope you enjoy that I'm doing these and I'm really glad that I'm finally getting to try one of these beers on its own so yeah really looking forward to this one but anyway as is usual with my reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other Trillium reviews that I've done before no doubt there will be more in the near future there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do please consider subscribing to the channel the whole channel of course has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country city state whatever it is you're interested in do check out the playlist of beers from different countries there is one there for all the american beers that i've reviewed for you before and that's constantly being added to and please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review it's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you give the channel is hugely appreciated so anyway to tell you a little bit about trillium brewing company then so trillium brewing opened back in march 2013 and it was founded by jc and esther tetro and apparently esther and jc started out brewing beers to celebrate their marriage and then they enjoyed it so much that they decided to kind of quit their other jobs and turn professional. So the brewery were initially based in Fort Point in South Boston which is obviously where this beer takes its name from and in the early days they only had a 10 barrel system but this site has since been upgraded to have a 2500 BBL uh, capacity. But they also have a secondary facility at Canton which opened in December 2015. This one has 16,000 square feet facility and it brews at 35,000 BBLs annually. In 2016 the brewery also began canning their beers and they really say that their biggest challenge over the coming years is to manage their growth, their growth because you know their beers are really highly sought after. Like I said they're a white whale brewery if you know that term. Um, most of you watching the channel will of course what am I saying. But um, yeah these beers are really really sought after. They're one of the ones who really kicked off this whole New England hazy IPA craze but you can often see quite large queues at both the breweries here but my mum and dad said they had no bother getting these they just went in and said give us six different beers and away you go so like I say I've got six I've got another five of these after this one to review for you over the coming weeks and I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one so yeah that's all you need to know about the brewery just now if you want to read a little bit more about it have a look at the brewery website which you'll find in the description below so yeah as I said this one comes in at 6.6% ABV it is a pale ale normally I would have thought this was getting into IPA territory. As we know though, IPAs and pale ales are kind of related through the, the hop to malt ratio. Then essentially the IPA is the big brother of the pale ale. This one is hopped with Citron Columbus and it's got a malt base of American two row barley, white wheat, C15 and dextrin malts. And I think they have their own house, uh, house strain of yeast as well. But yeah, as you can see, really nicely presented this one. The Trillium artwork is almost kind of minimalist actually. You can actually see a lot of the breweries in Europe that are doing these uh, kind of New England style IPAs. As you can see, they are maybe in a way kind of copying the sort of minimalist artwork that you get from Trillium and things like that. There you can see the Trillium flower on the bottom there. Looks really, really nice. But yeah, 6.6% ABV. This can apparently is an American pint. I'm not sure if that's 440 millilitres or something like that. The Americans, of course, have this really straight, to me at least, it's this really strange uh, way of measuring out liquids and stuff like that. But yeah, without further ado then, let's get it open and we'll get on with it. Oh dear. <laughs> you can smell the citra coming out of that right away. As soon as you open that up, you get the mangoes, you know, the lemon limes, the kind of lychee sort of thing that you expect of the citra hop. But there we are. Just look at that. This is going to be a pretty damn awesome beer, I can tell already. But yeah, just look at that. Exactly as you'd expect from one of these New England kind of hazy IPA sort of things. Like I said, this one is a paleo, but if you look at the colour of that beer, you can see it's absolutely, I think it's definitely fair to say this one's a hazy kind of golden orange colour. There's a solid, 
half finger of a quite a bubbly white head on this one actually it's not quite as frothy as I would normally expect one or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and you can see quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of that head there this the, the lack of kind of froth on the head the more bubbly head might well be due to the fact that this came over on the plane um, from the States with my mum and dad so yeah might be due to that but I'm not quite sure those of you watching the video do let me know are the heads more frothy or are they more bubbly when it comes to Trillium cans that could be interesting but as I'm saying when you're moving this beer around you're getting a hell of a lot of a uh, nice kind of citra fruit the citra on this one is really really obvious but let's take a closer look at the aroma and see how we get on <sighs> yeah that smells pretty damn good I have to say yeah, straight away, mangoes out of this one. Maybe a wee, a wee tiny bit of passion fruit in that as well, but definitely more mangoes than anything else. You can smell a little bit of the kind of the Columbus underneath it. You can smell there's a little bit of a grapefruit underpinning to this beer, which is common with that hop. But you can smell definitely some nice floral aromaticity. There's a little bit of a spicy character to it. It's quite grassy as well. But then as you kind of take in a bit more, you're getting a little bit more of these kind of tropical complexities that you expect at the citra hop. There's a little bit of lye cheek, some lemon limey notes in there as well. Some pineapple, I think, as well. There's definitely a wee hint of pineapple coming out of this one. And underneath, of course, you can smell, once your nose adjusts to it a little bit more, you can smell that nice kind of uh, wheaty malt base to it, that nice kind of white bready character. It doesn't smell quite as oaty as some of the European or, uh, New England IPAs do. With the likes of uh, Amar and, uh, and Cloud Water and things like this, normally you can pick up just a little bit of that slight, almost sweet character from the oats. This one, to me, definitely has that kind of wheaty character to it, that smooth, white, bready, wheaty kind of thing going on. Which is kind of what you'd expect, of course. But it's just interesting to pick up on little differences like that. But as I always say, before you try a beer, just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of it before you get stuck in. But I'm not going to wait with this anymore. So this one is the Four Point Paleo from Trillian Brewing Company over in Boston in Massachusetts in America. One of the White Whale Breweries. A huge thank you to my mum and dad for bringing these beers back. And like I say, I hope you guys enjoy my take on it. Slanja, skirl. Yeah, that is a pretty damn good beer. I'll say that straight away. I think it's, it's about, maybe it's about three weeks, four weeks old at the moment. So, and even at this point, you can tell it's really bloody good. You know, it's a damn good beer. So you can just imagine what this would be like kind of straight out the tap. It's probably unreal. And it's so easy to drink. It takes your mouth a few a few sips to kind of adjust to it. But that's really damn good. Wouldn't expect anything less, of course. This brewery are White Whale Brewery for a reason. But yeah, with this one, it's really interesting. I mean, you can feel the white, the, the wheaty character. That just blankets the middle of your palate. It's actually really light. I'm finding that the uh, the European versions of this, the, the sort of bready, wheaty character, does feel a little bit thicker, which is quite interesting. It might just be because this is the Paleo rather than the double IPA and the IPA and things like that. I do have the Bigger Brother styles to review for you at a later date. It might just be because this one is the Paleo, so it's the kind of the little brother of all the two, all three of them, if you like. But to me, it's got that nice light character to it which is interesting but as I say you can feel that white wheaty character right in the middle of your palate there's a wee bit of that dextrosey almost sweetness coming out of it that dextrosey uh, just smooth slightly sweet flavour that's just underpinning the whole of this beer the malt base is really quite simple in this one there's maybe just a wee touch of a, a kind of biscuity sort of sweetness to it for those of you watching America by biscuit I mean cookie of course because there seems to be this whole crossover of terms much like the, like I was complaining about your liquid measurements earlier just use just use half litres like they do in Germany and Europe it's a lot easier come on more beer as well but yeah on the hoppy side of things it's really really nice I mean Back corners of the palate, there's a wee touch of earthiness. As you come further forward along the sides of your tongue, you get that floral aromaticity, the Columbus, really coming out there. It's a little bit spicy. You can feel a little bit of that slightly dank 
floral aromatic character on the front corners of your tongue and then round the very front curve of your palate you've got that lighter sort of grassy character as well. Just behind the front curve of your palate of course that's where you get this little oily bubble that I always talk about where these fruity esters come out. You can feel a little bit of the grapefruit character there just underpinning it. For me that's mainly the Columbus. You will get a little bit of it from the Citra but the citra, of course, leans a lot more towards the likes of mangoes and a kind of peach, a little bit of peachy flavour sometimes as well. But you get a lot of complexity, and you've seen how long it was since I've taken a sip of this one. And this is when you start to get a little bit of that lychee, eh, almost gooseberry flavour out of the citra, which is really nice. But yeah. It's a really damn good beer, there's no doubt about that. I'm really interested to try the IPA and the double IPA I've got. I think it's an American wheat ale and a double American wheat ale and they also got me a porter as well. So I've got a good variety of things to try from these guys actually. I'd love to know if Trillium do a Scotch ale, it'd be awesome to try a Scotch ale from these guys. Uh, but as I say, I don't know if they do that. But this is really, really nice. So on the fruity side of things, like I said, a little bit of grapefruit. Um, as you progress further on with it, you get more of the mangoes. And there's a wee bit of a pineapple character as well. And as you go on and further and further, you can see now, this is when I'm starting to get the sort of light cheese and the gooseberries and maybe a wee bit of a, a kind of lemon limey character coming out of the beer as well. But make no mistake, this is a damn, damn good beer. And, you know, when this brewery has the reputation that they do, it's not a surprise. It really isn't a surprise, but it is a really good beer. The thing I said that surprised me with it it's just how kind of light in the malt base it is, but I do suspect that's because it's a pale ale and it doesn't quite have some of the boozy flavours that you'll get from the, the Big Brothers. But it's really good. In terms of the mouthfeel then, I would say, yeah, I would say it's, I would say it's, it's a uh, sort of mid-bodied actually. I always find these New England IPAs are a little bit uh, heavier just because of the, the haziness and things like that. They do feel a little bit heavier. Mid-bodied, smooth carbonation. Um, I would say it doesn't really have much of an oily character, it really is more of a smooth beer this one, there's a good bit of hoppy bitterness, the malt base has a wee bit of sweetness to it but again it's really quite smooth, it's sort of a, I don't know if you can say kind of nonchalant but it doesn't have the sweetness that you'll get from some of the bigger, from, from the IPAs and the double IPAs a little bit I would say and there's some nice juicy fruity character to this one as well but overall it's a really damn good beer and I'm glad that I got to try this. So like I said a huge thank you to my mum and dad for bringing these beers back for me and I hope you guys watching have enjoyed my take on this one. It's really cool to be able to try some of these kind of really well sought after beers. So I do hope that I can try some of the Treehouse ones at some point in the future as well but really damn good and I'm glad I got to try it. So yeah once again thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Do let me know your own thoughts on this one in the comment section below. Let me know what your favourite beers are from Trillium Brewery as well. And hopefully I can get out to Boston for myself at some point in the next couple of years and try some of their beers at Source and do a wee video for you in the two sites at Canton and at Fort Point. It would be really cool to have a look at their bars and stuff like that. But really cool to try this one, the Fort Point Paleo from Trillium Brewing Company over in Boston in Massachusetts. Until the next time, slash just now and I will catch you guys very soon. Cheers.